Hi guys, welcome to Part 786 and today we're going to be testing out the VAC Spot Wash Portable Carpet Washer and Upholstery Cleaner. So we're going to be testing it on this dirty white rug and see how well it performs. So a quick look at the vacuum or machine itself. There's some pictures on how it can be used but we're going to really put it to the test. So on the back you've got the hose which clips on nicely on board like that. So the hose unravels. You've got the trigger here, which sprays out your solution. And this stair tool has some bristles on it, which are quite stiff actually, so it's gonna really scrub your surfaces. It also comes off so you can wash it properly. And as does the front clear window. So when that gets dirty, you can just give that a wipe down or wash. So yeah, they really have thought about the design quite well. But I wanna test it out on my little rug here to see how clean we can get it. It might look clean, but you will definitely see the contrast, I reckon, because this was a lot whiter when it was brand new. So, what you do is remove the clean water tank here at the push of a button. Undo the cap. I'm going to use, you know what, I'm going to be basic here and use some dish soap or fairy liquid or whatever brand it is. And then hot water. We're going to see if this actually works, even if you're on a budget, and if you're tight like I am, if you're a cheapskate, then yeah, bonus if it works. Put that back on, clicks into place very nicely. So you remove the plug and cable, which can be removed all in one go like that. Yeah, I'm not exactly too sure how long it is, but it's not a short cable, but it's not very long either. Then again, it is a spot washer. As you can see, we've got a clean, dirty water tank. So we're going to see how filthy the water comes out. Well, that's quite a big difference. Let's do the rest of it. Imagine if I use proper solution instead of dish soap, how much better would the results be? But that on its own is quite impressive, isn't it? I think so. Okay, so now the clean water tank is actually full at the max line. 
can see all that filth, yeah? It's very, very easy to empty out. So you undo this clip, like that. The whole lid comes out, so you can rinse that lid, along with the actual container, and it just pours out like a jug. So literally this easy, you undo that, pour it away. Couldn't be easier. That's actually done quite well considering I used washing up liquid. There is another cool feature about this machine where when the hose gets dirty, you can actually clean it out. It has a hose self-clean port at the back. So what you do is you remove the upholstery tool like that, the push of a button. You switch the machine on and you just put it in there. And what that does is it will just suck up solution through this hose and actually clean it by itself. So let me just demonstrate that for you now. So my verdict on this machine is that it does a cracking job, it's simple to use, it, it's easy to use, it cleans itself out, which is what you want because you don't want germs breeding in your machine, it leaves the surfaces clean, it does everything it says on the tin, and yeah, all in all, I'd highly recommend it. So that's the Vac Spot Wash. You know it's clean when it's squeaky clean.